Hello, it's me, the Z, and in this video I will show you something that I forgot to show you in the last video. Um, this is a PS Vita running the Famera 2.02 and using the eCustom Famera TNV um, through the Uno exploit. Um, some plugins are enabled, like DayViewer. Yeah, so let's go straight to the re oops, that was suspend. Let's go straight to the recovery menu. So in general you have a configuration option and run option which is located in PSP, save data, then your exploit exploit folder and in there you have to place a recovery.pvp file it's similar to the old um, run program feature of nearly every custom firmware in the recovery menu and again then you have some more um, settings for configuration, but we'll get to them later. And um, yeah, an excellent function. Okay, configuration. At first, you have skip Sony logo. So if you boot the exploit or exit the game, um, it should show the um, the cold boot, the Sony logo, which you see if you boot your PSP. Skip game boot is for skipping the little um, animation after you start the game or homebrew, which says PSP. Um, it's recommended to enable both for saving time. Hide corrupt icons is also important, especially for 1.5 kernel homebrew. Hide MAC address, so your MAC address will be re placed with just zeros. Auto run program is interesting if you put um, well that's not correct. Um, if you put an fboot.pvp in this path it should automatically boot when you start the exploit which is interesting. I'm not sure if it if it's also working with an ISO or CSO game. You would have to try it. Um, UMD mode, you can trigger between the M33 driver and the Sony driver. Then fake region, it's for yeah, faking the region of your PSP like um, like faking it to be a Japanese or an European one for having extra icons in the XMB like the Japanese comic reader or the usual comic reader or curio music and limited and other stuff. Um yeah use VSH menu it's recommended to let this enable otherwise it's pretty hard to boot into the recovery menu. Use TN network update also recommended if there will be an update for the TNV e custom firmware you can get it via the system update function. Hide pick zero and pick one it's the little the little picture and the background picture if you if your cursor is on a game or on a homebrew it's for speeding up the accessing the game tab hide custom firmware photos um, you need this for some games like GGMX Portable which refuses to boot if they find some specific folders so it's yeah it's recommended to enable it um, extended colors, so you can use the PSP 2000 or 3000 colors. Since the PSP emulator emulates PSP 1000, it's recommended to put it in um, O2G or O3G. Use Sony PSP OSK, that's the on screen keyboard. It's for, well, either you can use the touch screen keyboard of your PS Vita, or if you enable this, you can have the old keyboard of the PSP. 
install add-on is important if you put an install.zip into the exploit folder you can press triangle on it in the game menu and then you can move it with this install option pretty nice and yeah speed up memory stick access is also recommended so um, you can faster load stuff um, yeah that's for running a file in this path should be speaking for itself advanced install 660 files it was in the beginning necessary for using the XMB uninstalling the files which seems to be simply deleting the flash folder at the root um, don't do it unless you want to remove the TNV yeah reset settings um, should speak for itself advanced configuration here you can enable or disable globally disable plugins in VSH game or POPs POPs is for PS1 games CPU speed it's um, for setting the speed in the XMB or game which also includes POPs so PS1 games um, it's mostly recommended to put it on 333 in the XMB and on default for games most games will change this at their own if it's not fast enough um, yeah plugins you this is just for enabling or disabling plugins it also says for which specific mode like game for yeah games and VSH for the XMB then we have the last category registry hex here you can change uh, the button behavior um, on Japanese consoles um, the circle button is for um, for accepting stuff or for entering stuff and the X button is for going back um, you can change it here so um, if you prefer the Japanese layout just use the Japanese otherwise you see non-Japanese one and yeah activating um, support for the WMA format for music files and activating the flash player but this is just flash player 6 I guess which is pretty old um, there's flash, pro flash player 10 or 11 at the moment um, you won't be able to use YouTube it's too old, it's just for some very old flash games or stuff. Um, yeah, that's mainly, these are mainly the main features of the recovery menu. Having it sharp again, yes. And yeah, you can also um, access the PlayStation Network store. This wasn't working the last time because the store was uh, unmaintained, but it should be working now. As far as I know, it's not in maintenance anymore, I guess. Looks good. Looks actually good. Uh, yeah, you can access the store. Uh, my account is a German PSN account. The comic tab is not visible since comic support was cancelled in Europe. So I just have the game and video tab. Uh, yeah, and that's the reason why this is in German, because my account is German. The interface is still in English, and yeah, otherwise, the internet browser and other stuff. System update. It's for getting um, updates for the TNV e custom firmware. Um, as far as I know, there are none. But there will be some in the future. Um, and they should be available. They should be available very soon. And it should be very stable to download them pretty fast speed um, yeah by the way this is the um, 
the plugin um, categories, game categories. So you can well either have like this, like this. You can have um, your stuff in a folder, or you can have multiple memory sticks. That's why this is called uncategorized. Or you can have the context menu. So if you click here, you have the context menu. Um, if I would have categories, I was too lazy to set some up. Um, you would have like PSN games, PS1 games, homebrews, and stuff. So pretty cool plugin, and it's yeah, it's working at TNV, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, for checking if you need CAT for a folder name for uh, recognizing as a category and for hiding uncategorized stuff but it's recommended to to not hide it um well yeah i'm that and see you soon